Hey guys, welcome to the second Fitness Friday. Today we're going to be doing biceps. Uh, besides the classic pull up or chin up, as some people saw it, pull up. There are a few other things you can do. All right, right now, as I said before, I have 30 pound weights, which is right here, which is what I normally use for doing this um, at the gym. At the gym, I use like 45s. Uh, but I can't afford those, so I just have these 30s. Alright, so we're in, I'm just going to show you doing a simple dumbbell curl. Okay, keep your arms in like this, elbows at your side, keep your elbows in the same spot. And you notice the twisting at the top, that really helps to just get a little extra push out of it. Alright, this is pretty easy for me. Um, Depending on your strength, 30 might be too much or too little, I don't know. But it helps for showing the basic technique. Let's just get a side view. Alright, I know that's pretty simple, but might as well start off with something. Now this one you might not have heard of yet, I mean I didn't know about it until I started working out. A heavier dumbbell like this, this is 55 pounds. Sit on something like this. This is my sister's bed. And you just want to pull up just like that. Alright? And that'll allow you to get. I don't know. I don't know what it does. But it's tough. Okay. So that's another exercise. There are a couple other ones that you can do. Alright, you can pretty much see me. Uh, okay, so for pull-ups, I have this pull-up bar there. And I'm just going to try to show you the best form. Alright, so for a normal chin-up, if you want to do a stiff one, go like this. You can cross your feet if you want. Go straight up and then straight down. All right, I think in the most important thing when you're doing those kind of when doing any pull-ups, really, keep your feet crossed, just like that, and that prevents you from swinging around, and it also helps you get your abs. The next one, this one. When your hands are like this on the bar, this will help out your biceps. And also, these guys back here, I forget what they're called, but it helps them out. So pretty much the same thing. Okay, down. And it's nice and slow like that, it really helps out. You don't need to be going like really fast like that. That's not going to help you out as much. Also, if you can't do a full pull-up on your own, you can also do this. You're down here, and you just... I'm not sure if you can see what I was doing there, but you swing your legs up like this. Just give you some momentum to get all the way up and you can practice. So you don't actually have to do a real pull-up to make that happen. Alright. Also, I think that's about good for today. I'm going to finish my workout here because I don't really have time to go to the gym today. So, I hope you guys liked it. I have a couple more things. Danielle made a good point that my videos are aimed mostly towards guys, especially the fitness ones. So, I might try to... Um, add some girl exercises in there too. I have to do some research on them, but why not? All right? And Zumba might be there. You might see me go on. Who knows? Something might happen. Uh, something I learned from my nutrition teacher that I'm trying out now is if you drink 12 ounces of low-fat chocolate milk instead of like a milkshake, not a milkshake, a protein shake, 
or any other shake that you might have, it has the same benefits. Uh, so, I'm hoping that works out. I've been, I did it for one day. Today will be my second day. So far, it feels good. I love chocolate milk. So, go ahead and try it. Doesn't hurt. 12 ounces of chocolate milk, 45 minutes or less after your workout. Alright, once you go past the 45 minutes, uh, that's the crucial time where you need to get protein, get all that good stuff. So just try to eat, do something 45 minutes after or less. Alright? And then just have your normal dinner. So, that was a Fitness Friday for this Friday. And I might see you tomorrow. I'm not sure. Who knows? Well, alright. So, peace out. Bye-bye.